Hi, this is Ishan from Rev Sports. You know, tuning in for the IPL update. The Rajasthan Royals took on the Delhi Capitals tonight. The Rajasthan Royals will be extremely delighted because they've gone, gone on to win this game. And it's good momentum for them because they won two out of two. And unfortunately, the Capitals have lost both their games. So this will be quite a setback for them. But I'm sure the tournament is still largely spaced out. A lot of more games to play. So I'm sure they will be, look, they'll be looking to go out and make their comeback really really soon as well. Let's quickly have a quick recap of this game. The Royals went out to bat first. Jaiswal and Butler could not fire yet again. You know, obviously Jaiswal has been spoken about a lot. A prodigy, a talent. He's moved up the ranks and he's really emerged as a superstar for Indian cricket in recent times. However, the last two IPL games has not come good. So I'm sure and hoping that Jaiswal finds his form in the IPL as well because the Royals would want him to to deliver up the order like he's done for the Indian side. Josh Butler will be disappointed because he's not had the best IPL season last year. He's not started off too well this year as well. So I think there will be that element of pressure on him. But he just needs one good innings and I think everything changes. So a lot to be thankful for Josh Butler as well. But the star performer from the batting lineup of the Royals was definitely, and no doubt here, Riyan Farag. So much is spoken about Farag that He's been inconsistent in the past, not really performed, but tonight I think he's really shown everybody what he's made of. You know, there was a lot of backing by the Royals for Yan Parag and I think today he's proven why. Jubin Barucha as well, the mentor to Parag, Jaiswal, Jurel, he's worked with Parag as well in the off-season at the Royals Academy in Nagpur and he's someone who's really helped in grooming him to become a better batter, be more focused and you know, have the right approach when you're taking on and playing as the biggest league and Parag seems to be implementing all of that and he just seems like a different person. If you look at his maturity, if you think about the way he's approaching the game, it all seems different. So this is good news for Rajasthan Royals. So the Parag help, he really helped him pushing on through and that last over he smashed Notch sure for I mean 4-4, four, 6-4 four, four, was just outstanding. When the Capitals went out to bat, there was pressure. They got they got started off to a fairly decent start, but then Andre Berger, who more than he's really good, really heated things up, got those two wickets, and the pressure was right on the Capitals. After that, Rishabh Pant came in. There was a partnership that was built, but again, they lost a few wickets, and after a point of time, the chase seemed to be going out of their hands. Yuji Jell rolled well as well, you know, maintained her, his economic rate and really helped in restricting the run flow for the Royals. It really helped the cause. Overall, the Royals helped and I think they, what they did right away was help in restricting the run flow. At one stage, it almost seemed that it's 50-50. For the longest time, in fact, it seemed 50-50. But then eventually, the Royals just held on a little longer, gripped on to the game a bit longer. And that's what sees them through. The Rajasthan Royals will be extremely delighted with this win. They'll be looking to push forward. The Delhi Cap will be responded. But again, it's a big tournament, a lot to play for. And I'm sure they'll be looking to come back stronger. Rishabh Pant could not only really fire today as well. He got run somewhere in the mid-twenties, you would like to go on and push further. But let's give him time guys, let's give him time. He's gonna come up really good and when he does, it's only gonna help the Delhi Capitals. Overall, a fantastic game of cricket. You guys are only getting heated up. Stay tuned to the rest post, stay tuned to the IPL. I'm gonna make sure I get all the IPL details right after that.